What's up, everybody? It's Goal 60 here for Wednesday, June the 5th, 2019. So, yesterday didn't go very well. Um, well, two of the three over-under plays did cash. And the one that was a B-bet didn't, so it carries over to a C today. And then as far as the RPI system, we did cash on the B-bet with the Phillies. But then all three of the new official plays that started up yesterday all lost. So, trying to get those going again today on their B-bets. And hopefully we can cash all these and move on. All right, so like I said, we'll jump right into the RPI stuff since we don't have any revenge plays going right now. Uh, the first one will be Baltimore and Texas. So Texas was the team we were on yesterday at minus 122. They got down big time early, fought back, including six runs in the ninth inning in the bottom of the ninth, but it just wasn't enough. They ended up losing 12 to 11. So they made a good comeback. We just need them to get a couple more runs to get it done for us, and they couldn't get it done. So we move on to today where the price actually was pretty high. It has dropped quite a bit when I first seen it early this morning. It was around minus 173. It's already down to around minus 160. So if you wait a little bit, you may even get it at an even better price. Next up, we've got San Francisco and the Mets. So yesterday was a big situational game for the Giants, and I didn't know it until going in. Once the game started and I've seen all the tweets about it could be their manager's 1,000th win. I knew that we would, you know, have a tough outing. And sure enough, we did. We led for most of the game, let them come back and tie it up in like the seventh. And then we couldn't get another run. And in the top of the sixth, or excuse me, the top of the ninth, the Giants exploded, putting up six runs, which did send us over in the over-under system, but also caused us to lose that game. So today, they, the Mets go back off as a minus 140. So we'll be chasing that one. Hopefully they can get it done today. Around the same line as it was yesterday, I believe yesterday we had at minus 135, somewhere in that area. And so hopefully we can get it done on the B game and not have to worry about it tomorrow. And then finally, the last official play on the RPI system we have is Cincinnati and St. Louis. St. Louis jumped out to a one nothing lead, had opportunities to get runs. They also did some good defense early in the game where they actually – I think at one point, third or fourth inning, the Reds had two guys on with no outs. They got out of that inning only to give up more runs later in the game. But, like I said, they were underdogs yesterday. Today they go off as a favorite at minus 141. So we look for them to get a win there. There's four unofficial plays remaining. Still waiting on the Yankees, the Rays, the uh, Twins, and also... The Brewers and the Brewers got beat down yesterday by at home by the Marlins. I'm talking about absolute uh, beat down early in the game. The Marlins come out and start scoring runs, and they had an 11 run inning. I think it was in the fifth, and so that's pretty tough to come back from there, especially when it's that late in the game. We have earlier in the season, you know, we were on the Phillies at one point, and um, we were down 10 nothing after the first inning and came back and won that game. So it could have happened, but it would have been tough at being halfway through the game when they gave up so many runs. With that said, we'll move on to the over-under stuff, and we've only got the one play going today, and it is that C play, but it is even money on the line, and it is nine and a half runs for the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks. Well, last night, we had them at nine and a half. The line actually got pushed all the way up to 10, and they come up short. They scored nine. Dodgers all the way, nine nothing. If we could have got anything from the Diamondbacks, we would have been fine. But either way, uh, we go again today at nine and, a half, nine and a half once again, and hopefully they can get it done, hoping that this is a high-scoring game. We don't know yet, so uh, we'll see what happens there. We need to close that out and get a win for this over-under system and uh, head back in the right direction with it. That's everything I've got today. Hope you have a great Wednesday, um, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. 60% of the time, it works every time.